So for this uh, tasting, this second tasting, um, you have chosen Chateau Canon La Gaffelia 2001. Uh, can you please tell us why you have chosen this specific vintage? Ah, 2001. A lot of people are speaking about the 2000. But uh, if you're looking exactly and you compare a little bit the different chateaus in the right bank, in the right bank, very, very often the 2001 can be better than a 2000. My 2001 was uh, not so a dry vintage, so the, the, the Meros was perhaps a little bit more uh, integrated, there was not too dry, and uh, also the Cabernet from were outstanding. So uh, for me 2001 is not so far away from the 2000 and I think for some consumers now to drink I prefer the 2001 and you know that's very often we can find the press was not so nice with the 2001 but they, were, they say well 2000 was outstanding but for me quality price I take the 2001 and now very very interesting to drink here in uh, Kamega Filiere 2001 you 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 uh, you feel the spice you feel the spice the freshness in the wine you feel the Cabernet Franc a little bit truffled though so there's a wine and you see really that's not only Merlot Cabernet Franc is so important for Kamega Filiere and and then in the in in, ma in the mouth this is a wine that has a lot of profoundness, like always. Carnegie Affinet is not always the most powerful wine in the brightness, but it's a wine that's very profound, very integrated. It's a little bit aristocratic, like wine. <laughs> and you know, and, and I like this. There's not, nothing too much. You cannot find any wood. Wood is completely integrated. You have a very nice acidity, you have a very good freshness. And I think that's very important for outstanding red wine. That it's not only powerful, not only sweet, but it's not overripe. And uh, and um, this wine, really, you have pleasure to drink. It's not over bright, but it's very very profound, and very complex. So the Cabernet Franc is really coming out very well. The Cabernet Franc, the spice, um, uh, you have a little bit of violet inside but also the under, underground is coming up and uh, a, um, a wine you can really see that the tannins are completely completely integrated that you have uh, um, uh, no um, well no no hole in the middle and uh, well you, you, are, you just like to drink it I think if you are three for, for a bottle like that I think after 20 minutes the bottle will be empty well, you know, um, this is a wine you can you can drink it with food and after food. You can drink it now and you can drink it after dinner. And I think this is something very very important for us now. And what would you pair with uh, Canon La Gaffelia 2001? Do you have some suggestion? Um, so uh, that is st still wine for 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 I think for meat. Uh, you know, Ned. Uh, I I think we if you have. Uh, if you have a game, um, that would be very nice, but also um, uh, all what it's around the red meat, that is a, a good steak would be outstanding. But, uh, but this, you, you need something to special. But also as I find if you, have a, if you have a chicken that can be good, if you have a duck can be good. Um, but mostly um, for me, it's more for, for what it's for meat. But also, if you have some dried cheese, can be very good. How would you compare this wine you have chosen here with the first vintage of Canon La Gaffelia you have tasted when you started here? Oh, I tasted Canon La Gaffelia um, much before well, when before I came I came I came, I came here to Canon La Gaffelia. I tasted all the old wines of Canon La Gaffelia, and I were here with some some friend from the. From the uh, from the university in Bo in Paris, and we taste the wines back to fifty. All the wines were here f to the fifty, and what we saw in this time that's the uh, the nine the seventy eight 
um, and older, well, that's a long time ago, so I, I start here in 80, 84, 83, and we taste all the wines from 78 to 50. And what we saw in this time that the 64 and older they are outstanding wines. So if you have a Kamega Filia, 64 and older, really outstanding wines. But then in the from 65 and up, it's much more, it's much more difficult. And why? Well, in this time we have the guy that was a very horrible guy, I think, the half educated engineer, arrogant probably, arrogant engineer. And he brings us what? He brings us in the one in the in, in our in our in the in the wine making in the outside also in the viticulture. He brings us um, chemical fertilizer, herbicide seed, and insecticides. We don't need that. So the the the, the roots, the the alimentation of the roots was completely different than after than after sixty four, and so we are making wines. They are. The, the, the skins was not very powerful, there's too much water in the fruits and, uh, and the wines have no life more. So this wine is aging quite quick and they, what you say, the people have a peak in the wine and then they're going down. Today the wines have no peak, they have a plateau and a very long plateau. If you look for the 64 and older, they have exactly the same. So somewhere Welcome back to the future. With which vintage do you think that you came back to the roots of Canon La Gaffelia? When, when, when you taste those wines, which one is for you the renewal of yeah. Canon La Gaffelia? That's, that's, uh, thank you, that's a very good question. We have, um, we have the, this is always some, uh, never the things going um, very quick. I think we, we, we have steps. For me, a first step in the vintage was eight, 88. So 88, we have a nice concentration, it's a nice wine, and still nice to drink. A lot of people, they, they have some 88. Well, I think it's not, it's only some few people. But the 88 is, uh, for me, the first vintage that I really understand that Karangafliya can be outstanding again. Then we have um, another vintage for me is 97. You know, nobody speaks about 97. Nobody. That was a difficult vintage. Normally they, they are all gone away. But if you have the change drinking 97 Karagafia, yeah, it's still here. So 97 bar was, a, was a really important step for us. And uh, this was the time that we are coming back to the wooden fermentation tanks. To, uh, to no pumping system for the fruits to the to the tank, pigeage, um, well, a lot of things uh, changed in this time. Um, we have much more life in the soil in this time. We start with our compost station. So this is uh, there are points that were very important, and uh, then the next step was certainly. Um, in 2005, 2009, that the wines they have more and more freshness by the organic growing and a very profound power. So I think this is, this is steps that are really important. And I think then in between 2016, our wine still have more and more complexity. We have more life. And what that you can see that our soils are working much better while we are producing more. We can produce more. That's natural. You are today um, receiving us in your house. You're living in uh, the estate, yeah. which is becoming quite rare. Um, do you remember when you arrive here with your wife, seeing this estate, what is immediately Sure for you is that you will live in this estate, grow your children in this estate? Oh, you know, it's a very long, uh, long, long story that, um, uh, so our family is not uh, French, we are not from, from here, and, but we have in, in, um, in it's now Germany, it was a, a 
the, the Roman Empire of German nation in the old time, um, we, the family makes wine for more than 800 years, so, so nothing new. But I'm, I'm number five of eight children, so I am not predicted to, to take over um, a wine company. But um, I'm studying in Paris, but much more um, business and, and, and politic. And in, in this time, my father asked me to take over um, uh, Carnac La Filière. And then we, I, I look a little bit what we can do with this winery and to bring it up. And to, so the, I know Carnac La Filière in the, in the 70s. And it was um, just a, a family investment, but the, the, the house was broken down completely. The cellar was completely different. So for me, that was not only um, a thing to take over, but to build up, to bring the wine back what it was before and uh, make something special. And, a, and somewhere, a little bit, a real family company. So a family live there, the children grow up here and making wine. Um, they are, they are, they are, the, the children are completely, they understand what's happened in the day. The children know what the father and the mother are doing. So they, 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 they saw the difficulties we have to bring up the winery. They, they saw also when we were happy, while we have success. So this can be a successful, it was a success, it is a success um, a story. But it's also in some moments difficult, if I look back, for 91 frost, then we have some hail, then we have uh, back again in 2017 frost. So if you are working in, in the agriculture part, if you're working in the viticulture, you can have sometimes you are outstanding happy about something and uh, six months after you are sorry but something happened. So, that is always like that. We are working with the nature. We have to accept that the nature is much more important than than than, uh, than us, huh? and we have to integrate sometimes very very nice states. We are joyeux, what the the, the the French say, and sometimes we are quite really sorry and upset while the nature is different. But we have to. That is a little bit what what also is our our way to do in our profession that we are working closer to nature, we have to integrate to nature and we have to accept that that it's like this, that is just, we can't change it. So the children understand that our life is something you have to find a harmony and that is, I think, that is something very special that um, in our business is that um, that the wine brings the harmony in the, in the, in the life, the bram brings the harmony in the family I'm sure you have to understand not to drink um, six, seven glasses in a day. But um, if you are, if you are um, prudent, if you like the quality of the wine, if you respect the wine, I think you never drink too much. Well, thank you, Stefan von Nijperk, thank you for these nice moments. And um, next time it will be with another wine. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. <laughs>